everybody. Since I was asked a few questions last week about hatching out angelfish eggs, I thought that would be the perfect topic to cover this week. I am going to cover the two methods that I personally use, but there are many other methods, and so you just have to keep trying and experimenting until you find what works for you. The first method I'm going to cover is the use of hydrogen peroxide. All you need is your standard grocery store, dollar store type peroxide. You don't need the industrial strength version. And so the dosage is one capful per gallon every 12 hours. But the key here is you cannot dose too close to when you expect the eggs to hatch. So for me, my eggs hatch around 48 hours and I will actually dose the hydrogen peroxide three times and about the time I would normally be dosing the fourth dose the eggs will hatch so I skip that dose and the reason for this is hydrogen peroxide when it breaks down it becomes oxygen and water and that added oxygen while it's good to keep fungus at bay it can actually kill newly hatched fry. So that, that's your key caution that you need to be aware of when you're using hydrogen peroxide to help keep fungus at bay from the eggs so that they can hatch. The next method I want to cover is the use of methylene blue. This is actually the current method that I'm using. And you can get your methylene blue a wide number of places. Um, most fish stores carry it. I carry it in my online store if you're interested. But anyway, the dosage here varies. For me, I use, on average, I'd say five or six drops. What you're going for is kind of a medium blue color. If it's too light, it doesn't have the long-term effect that you need. And if it's too dark, when the eggs hatch, it can actually become detrimental. Methylene blue is a chemical dye that has antibacterial, antifungal properties. And so you do have to use caution when you use it. But it works great. Um, okay, other possible methods you might consider using. Chlorinated water. Chlorine is a great antifungal, antibacterial chemical. That's why it's in our tap water. And it can actually offer the same help with hatching out eggs. Another possibility I'm aware of is the use of pure RODI water. Since it doesn't have impurities in it, it keeps things fairly clean. Um, I'm sure there are other methods beyond these, but these are the ones that I've personally tried and used in the first two, as I said, are the ones that I am the most successful with. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I upload a video every Sunday evening. And here are a couple of my recent videos that you might find interesting. So thank you again so much for watching and have a great week.